it is Nagel Otellum back here with New Mexico for the Dynasty Series with the Lobos. Last week, we destroyed Auburn 49-31. Who's not to say that we don't do it to FSU? Before we advance, I will be changing the sliders. And another reason, wait, was Lamar Jordan? He got injured last week and he still has Brandon Harris. Brandan Harris is leading it. Okay, okay. That's a bit unrealistic, but we think Brandon Harris. Um Yeah, I'm just going by this. Um, so we will be changing the sliders, making it a bit more difficult because last week it was a bit too easy to destroy number 20 rank Auburn. I waited to advance because we could have one of our goals done, or at least halfway done this week. Bro, we're looking to we're looking to sign our Canadian player. The 59 overall outside linebacker. At least get him on a visit. Come on, man. You know you know we want you. like the only team in Destiny. We have 500 points on this. I'm pretty sure you can come here. There was only three Canadian players in this year's recruiting class, so... And we're lucky because two of them... Two of them wouldn't even, like, talk to us. Like, they're like... They look at New Mexico and they're like, Who? Well, we'll show them what they're missing out on. Right? Because, I mean, we can beat number three FSU.
Bro, if these teams aren't careful, we're gonna snag. We're gonna snag these dudes. Like, come on. States thingy. DeAndre Francois, smoking DeAndre, you know him. If you go on Twitter, he's trademarked. I don't know, he like trademarked his name. Like if you're on Twitter, it's his, if you look him up, it has DeAndre Francois, TM. That means trademarked for you uh, uh, slower kids out there. Our offense is really good. Um, they are 1-0. Oh. They've only played one game. Derwin James is someone... Man, I'd love to have Derwin James on my team, honestly. But, I mean, Bajon Parker has been going off, bro. He has been going off. Bajon is so good. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In a matter of moments, Chief Osceola will hop aboard Renegade. The spear will be flaming. He'll venture to the 50-yard line, and when that spear sticks into the turf, you know that the Seminoles are ready to go. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Dope Campbell Stadium, located in Florida's capital city of Tallahassee. The fans are ready for a college football battle. Aguayo has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 24. The Lobos have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you get a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. Looks like the offense has it. The Lobos always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 26. Yeah, 
Strike to his receiver, no good. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. There's a strike complete. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Auburn got destroyed by the short him last Give the defense all of the credit here. And that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Well, that time the big fella got home and came up with a sack, but credit the call by the defensive coordinator there with the blitz. The offensive linemen were occupied with those linebackers, and it freed up the defensive linemen to make that sack. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. He throws. Brought down right around the 34. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. Man left, man left. No doubt. Three down, three down. Mike 18, Mike 18. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. Hoskins on the tackle at the 24-yard line. First down. Speaking of last First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. And he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. And down he goes, the seven-yard line. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. This is the 11th play of this drive. And he is drilled at the one-yard line. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. About a yard to Pater. Mike 18, Mike 18. Set. Blue 19. Blue 19. Here's the toss. Nothing doing. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Play 13 of the current drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to come up with a sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks. Or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. New Mexico could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. Sanders gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'll try and point out when Auburn comes down on, like, the score screen down there. Because, like... The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. The Seminoles lineman left the game with an injury earlier. We thought he'd make it back, and he's still in the locker room. Doesn't look like any more football for him today. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at the 46-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 46. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 40-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. at the 30, makes it out to about the 16. First and 10, ball on the 16. Fires quickly and he's got his man, and he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. Converts the extra point. A five-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And he's going to call for a fair catch. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Caught, open field. Oh, oh, They'll bring him down at the 42. He did him dirty. Gain of 17 no. on the play. That makes it first don't, and 10. Don't, don't. Oh no, he did him dirty. The dude fell. Oh, four. Four's done. No. Okay. Okay. I tried that like a million From their times own 42 year. yard line. First down. And he's tackled at about the 45. That's a game of 13. Yeah, we're driving. We drive last time. First down. Just our goal line offense, our red zone offense, is absolutely disgusting. Like, not good, disgusting. Bad discuss. I know some of you are watching this and are like, well, what's good discuss disgusting? Like, disgusting is like how you could describe like your defense. From the 45 yard line. First down. Dives forward. New Mexico's got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison. They make the stop around the 37-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Now he's scrambling. He's tackling at about the 35. That's good for a gain of two yards. If we didn't get that. First down. Go 
Incomplete. He's got room. Tackle made right around the 20. The most that makes it first and ten. Better than anyone else. From the 20 yard line, it's first down. Quick pass. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 14 yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They're going to go no huddle here. Pretty interesting early tactic. Probably want to see how this defense responds to it. So at the end of one, Florida State leads 7-3. To the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. And he's level at the nine yard line. Hoskins rings him down at the nine yard line. That makes it first and goal. Tenth play of the drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of six yards. That brings up second and goal. They put everyone up on the line. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Eleven jerseys, one for Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese taking in on the Mountain West, which is becoming a high powered offensive conference. And for Fresno State, they've now dropped three in a row. Sanders looks ready to kick this one off. Number three, back deep to return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Good thing we did not pick Fresno State because they're on. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Good tackle there in space. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. That's a gain of ten on the play. That'll make it second and in inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He can run. He's at the 30 for the 20. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Sets 
sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they push him out at about the nine yard line. Nothing gained on the play. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards. But the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Second down and goal. Nine yards to the goal line. Touchdown, Florida State. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense. When you have a quarterback who can do things like that, the coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. He makes the PAT. Well, that's a six-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 14-10, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Going deep, lays it out there. Let's go. go Complete. Go, go, go. It's the junior go, go, go. to the 20. Let's go. Touchdown, Lobos. Woo. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. Let's go. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They're ready for the kick. Number two to return. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, somebody needs to send a memo to the defense is that it's okay to tackle somebody or stop somebody. Really good offense, really bad defense. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Bro, we were... Okay. Nice run out. there. About five yards really, on the quarterback be keeper. Because you need to go see the last second and five. But anyway. We're it's second and five like here. Ball on their own 30. I've run the ball check twice check tr trying to go up the middle. Hasn't worked. Oh, I tried it possible. I'm like. Quick strike, and he drops it. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator right. arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. All right. He gets to the corner. He dives. He dives, like, right in someone's knee and fumbles in the end zone. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, what a great spin. I know. That was, that was pretty that was pretty good. And he throws it away. Well, the defense stood tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Let's go, boys. Patrick Reed. Reed is back awaiting the punt. Ooh, Calls for the fair catch. New Mexico's offense is just clicking on all cylinders for me right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. I love to see this, Brad. These cornerbacks have the toughest job in college football, and that's to cover some of the fastest players on the field in the season. And for a corner willing to come up, get off of his block, and make a play to disrupt the run, that's as good as it gets if you're a defensive player. Brought down at the 44-yard line. Call it a game of 16 yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. New Mexico has a three-point lead. That's a bad throw. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. Oh, 
Burrow. And he's taken down the around the 26 yard Let's line. Ocasio oh, with the tackle. He's the guy who got the screen pick last week that I was talking about. It's second about. and 13. Ball on the 26 yard line. And down he goes, right around the four-yard line. Gets it away, and it's a touchdown. It's better that they come to score quicker anyway. And he adds the extra point. Florida State ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Short kick, and he'll fair catch this one. The Lobos quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. He's scrambling. Open field. And he has another corner. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 37. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. It's our time. Watch 18, 18. Got it and brought down immediately. Thomas makes the tackle at the 32 yard line. That brings up second and five. Man left, man left. He scrambled. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Oh, I thought we Very got good tackle in space. Seven on the play. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. Around the four yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and goal. I don't think we're talking about that. I mean, we're obviously pulling that. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at the one. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That was a designed quarterback draw, and it results in a loss of around two. The Lobos will use their first time out of the half. They'll spread the field with five wide. Scrambling around. Heading for the corner. Touchdown, New Mexico! Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Seminoles and their coaching staff. Looks like they kind of salvaged this first half. It wasn't going good early. No, it was not. In fact, it was sloppy and ugly. They've done a really good job of just kind of sticking to their game plan and putting themselves in a position to be able to be competitive throughout the rest of this game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. There was so little separation. This game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Florida State is up by three, and he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Calls for the fair catch. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. New Mexico's going to have to use their second time out of the half. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks up, you got and it's it. off the upright, no good. We've seen quite a bit of offense here as we reach halftime. Our score is the Seminoles in front. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. I knew that was going to happen. And he's tackled at about the 27 yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27 yard line, it's second down. Now he's scrambling, and they make the stop right around the 28-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Florida State is up four. Gets it. Dude. He's in space. No, he's at midfield. And he's finally shoved out at the 34 yard line. Not only is that bull crap, he breaks eight tackles. So oh, let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Number all over the cutback. Knocked out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. That's a gain of seven on the play. You know, it'd be a, it'd That'll bring up second and three. Play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. I'm sorry, I just can't get over the fact that they ran the ball. It was 17 yeah, easy, seconds easy, left. Kill, kill. They ran the ball, and two, we two, literally two. couldn't do anything. That's absolutely disgusting. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. They go back to him on a quick throw. He's tackled at the eight. Looks to the end 
zone and it's caught. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven play, 74 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 20. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's going to try and scramble. The Cavalry's coming. Got the corner. Slides down. Slides on the play. Gain 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. The defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Man left, man left. From the 47-yard line, first down. Mike 18, Mike 18. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Decides to slide. First down. I really need to score as quick as possible right here because you know, there's no reason, there's no nothing stopping them from running the ball. He's got it with room to run. Brought down around the 20-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From the 20-yard line. First down. Let's do him again. Complete. Nice play to set up first and goal. Hoskins wins him down at the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Now he tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. New Mexico is going to take their first time out of the hat. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And they get the two. New Mexico to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Lobo staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at, uh, at the front leading the way. Florida State holds a field goal lead. Zips it to the tight end. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. Woo! 
he tackles him hard at the 43 yard line. Okay. Awesome. That'll Can bring up second and 11. Actually, I think we're not. Toss. He hauls it yeah, in no and way. gets out of bounds. There's no way he got that in. I'm literally pressing swat and intercept. Like, <laughs> Bajoran just decides to not First down, him. 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. <laughs> Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Aker gains around six yards on the run. Okay, we need to stop here with field goal. Like, not kill. We actually need to stop the field goal. Kill, 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 kill. So it'd be pretty nice if we actually could. Complete. He's got room. He's out of bounds. Right around the 20. Ooh So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Florida State is up a field goal. And he might want it all here and does. He's got it. Touchdown, FSU. He makes the PAT. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Aguayo gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. Signals for a fair catch. But, I mean, still. I expect my corner to make a play, maybe. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. He's scrambling, rolls right, slides down to the ground. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Steps out of bounds at the 47. From their own 47 yard line. First down. Mike 18, Mike 18. Scrambling around. Let's it fly. And that one's incomplete. Terrific out. coverage. Touch and when you ball. clog up passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback Dude. to make some poor decisions. Almost the got themselves a turnover, too. That. And the dude literally, he, like, turns his back, oh, they're balking at me. Yes. Yes, BHJ, there is a ball. Now he's scrambling. That's why you're playing the sport. He delivers, dude, and it falls incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They'll line it up again on third down. Fires in a hurry. Interception. Come on, man. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. Now, 
Adams, and that left's got the fullback. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Why are they still passing? That's my question. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That'll bring up third and eight. Please? Like, I just need a stop. All day! All day! Mike 2! Mike 2! Hey, Yona! Hey, Duncan! Oh. Quick throw out to the receiver. Let's go! And bring him down at the 49-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. Florida State's got a 10-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Tyler to punt. Fields at the 18, tackle at the 28-yard line. The Lobos have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Dude, I'm tired of Jordan getting injured. Four weeks, broken ribs. That's, that's great. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Maybe Throws it to the outside. Let's Tackle go. at the 42. You know, I know it's late in the game, but you never want to give up big plays. Let alone in a two-possession game, you give up a score. Next thing you know, it's only one possession, and this team has a shot to tie the game. Four weeks, at least. the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42 yard line. He's got it to his tight end. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. within a field goal. And he converts the extra point. Let's go. New Mexico, kick this one off. Fielman making the biggest play of this series. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Mostly his biggest play of the series. So we got a, a score here might effectively end this one. Florida State has a three-point lead. And down he goes at the 43. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Hit out of bounds around the 47 yard line. That's a gain of four on that play. That makes it second and six. Mike two, Mike two. Larry, Larry. Down. Get away from the Going deep. Lays it out there. Touching offense. You gotta be careful to avoid these. Down. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47.
Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Whoa. Number 89, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. Tyler awaits the snap. We're going to have to drain the clock. Fielded at the 19. He's taken down at the 25. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on their own 43. Throws into coverage, just picked off. And they make the stop at the 44. Florida State is up by three. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Dude, I'm right there. He's tackled How right are you around the 16-yard line. How? We cannot let them score a touchdown here, defense. Please hold them. It's the only thing you have to do all season. Quickly, and he's got his man. Touchdown, Florida State. Yeah, right, he's all right by him. Come on. Come on. Bull crap, bro. Bull crap. So we have to get the ball back twice. In and he hits the PAT. With a three-play, 44-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Looking for the corner, and he's tackled at the 30. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. The offense is in desperation mode, and the defense is thinking, guys, one more stop and we can get out of here with a win. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a... Come and this one's going to get intercepted. He flings it. Brought down at the 42-yard line. So we end up losing 59-46. Come on, man. Jordan, of course, is hurt and out for the rest of the, like, eternity. Because he has to do everything. How many rushing yards did we have? We had zero from Tyrone Owens. Yeah, he's great. We have negative nine from our backup quarterback. This is why Jordan's hurt. Because he has to run and throw. He's our whole offense at this point. We have three receivers over 100 yards. Doesn't mean anything. We let up like eight sacks, so that's good. Barnwell outplayed Bajan. 
completely. Like, Bajan did nothing. I don't remember him getting a single tackle. We need our players. We need the players that that are good, and we know that can make big plays to do it. We absolutely need that. I mean, our big players just didn't make plays. Our offensive line couldn't hold up. Which I completely understand, but... <sighs> Mostly that game's on me. I threw three stupid interceptions, and that pretty much cost us the game. Play Miami next week, who beat Clemson. Now three and one in the first four games next week. Um, we'll upgrade now. Thank you for watching, Nagel Hill, I'm out.